In this video, we're going to talk about the title and alt attributes within HTML. Now, we'll first talk about the title attribute. Now, it used to be in HTML4, you could only place the title attribute in particular elements. You were restricted in terms of the types of elements where you could place the title attribute. But in HTML5, they changed that, and you can basically put the title attribute in any element tag that you wish. So if you wanted, I don't know why you'd do this, but you could actually put it within the HTML root element tag. You could do that. But for the most part, usually you're going to put these inside an IMG element or a paragraph element, something like that, where content is actually displayed on your web page. And what the title attribute basically does is it creates a nice little tool tip when you hover over a particular HTML element. And in this case, when we hover over our Caesar image, we should get a nice tooltip. And so let's go ahead and put that in here. And all you do is type in title for the title attribute. And then we need to put in some text. And in this case, we'll just say Julius Caesar. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. And now let's hover over the Caesar image. And there you can see we got our nice tooltip, Julius Caesar. Now, later on in CSS, and especially jQuery, we will actually format this tooltip and make it much more presentable. Now let's talk about the alt attribute. And basically that stands for alternate, and it's alternate text for an image. So what it really allows is in case we can't display this image for some reason, say we have the wrong path, or the image is no longer there, you can display alternate text so that at least something is displayed. And so that's why you would use the alt attribute. Now you should use text that is relevant to the image that you're trying to display. So we wouldn't put Alexander the Great here. We probably should put in Julius Caesar. And so that's what we're gonna do. So we go ahead and type in ALT for alternate, and then we put in whatever text we want to. And in this case, as I said, we'll just put in Julius Caesar. Now, we have to actually change the name of our image here so that it doesn't load. And then we will have our text from our alt attribute displayed. So we'll put a one here on the end. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see our image is no longer displayed, but we got the text displayed from our alt attribute. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.